I took three outfits on a two day trip to drive one dope set of wheels. And here's what happened. Now starting off with this first outfit, this is what I wore on the plane. So right now you're looking at me standing at LAX right outside of my terminal and I'm wearing a full sweatsuit by Raining Champ. If you guys know me, you know that this is one of my favorite brands to wear when it comes to any type of athleisure. I have my crossbody bag there by cost. It's a super easy way to get through TSA into airport security. Just kind of clip it off, throw it in the bin, pick it back up. It just makes my whole process much, much easier. And what I don't usually wear with this outfit is boots. But I put these Doc Martens on, which are the black on black monos, because they made my bag much, much lighter. So an easy hack for you if you're packing and you don't want to overpack or make your bag too heavy, wear your heaviest shoes to the airport. And since I knew I was going to much colder weather, I made sure to bring myself a compactable puff coat that I can take on the plane with me. This is by Lululemon Men, and it's actually a collab with Robert Geller. I think the purple's very subtle. The little gold accents kind of gives a nice little pop of color, but it isn't too distracting for the overall outfit. And then topped it off with this wool cashmere beanie and this is my full outfit when I actually land. So back to the trip, we hop on the plane and after very interesting flight to say the least, we finally show up about three hours later to Vancouver. If you've never been to the city, I was already super impressed by A, how clean it was when I was there, and then also just the cityscape is very beautiful. I love cloudy weather. If you know me, I'm from the Bay Area, so this felt very nostalgic. So we check into our hotel, and this is one of those kind of hotels that have different themed rooms at different colors, and obviously we got the red room. And after we got settled, we went to a beautiful dinner hosted by VW, who made this entire trip possible in the first place. We got a sneak peek into the next day's adventure, talk to a bunch of cool people, and before you know it, it's the next morning and it's time to rock and roll. Hey. Hi. Ooh, how you doing? Good. This is a nice situation. Mm -hmm. Wow. We are on our way to Whistler. We are in the VW Atlas Crossport. Yes, 2020. 2020. Yes, but we're in Canada, Vancouver, as Yay. you know, if you're watching this. So yeah, exciting times. You're gonna see all the outfits, tonal situation. You know I like to do my color blocking. I'll show you the outfit later. Not as important as the adventure we're about to take. So right now we're in rainy weather. We're about to get to snowy weather pretty soon. But just wanted to give you all a quick little, you know. Little update. Yeah, before we get out there. So to the snow. Let's go. Yes, sir. Ma'am. <laughs> Quick, I want y'all to see this view. We're shooting right now, and it's coming out amazing, but I mean, look behind me, bro. This is wild. Vancouver is gorgeous. So as you can see, while we're on our way to the snowy area of Whistler, we found this perfect little safe zone to pull over to that just looks perfect for photos and videos. And I'm gonna show you exactly how the photos came out, but first, let me talk about this outfit. These are the only boots that I have on the trip, so I had to get creative with how I wanted to wear them over and over again. These are pants by Koss stretchy chinos that are kind of wide in the leg but then taper around the ankle very comfortable very versatile to wear with both boots and sneakers both this overshirt and this sweater are by asos i believe the asos website calls this jacket material borg but it's the same thing as like fleece that you would find on a north face jacket so i thought it was very creative that they took it from a technical jacket and put it in something that's more like a western jacket i have a very simple roll neck sweater on as you can see with a nice light stripe woven within it very subtle but a nice little detail that you know adds a little bit of texture a little bit of flavor to the fit and then topped it off with my reflective shades so we're back on the road and this time it was my turn to drive and you see the weather go from rainy to snowy in the matter of like an hour and what we didn't realize we spent so much time stopping and shooting in different places that we almost had no time to go to this one thing that we wanted to do called peak to peak and if you don't know about peak to peak or whistler it's actually the guinness world record of the highest and longest gondola ride ever you know like those snow lifts you take to get from the ground up to the top of the mountain so you can ski back down or snowboard back down that's exactly what it is but it's like almost three miles long super duper high in the air and we went on a mission to make it happen 
Yo, we out here in the snow. So we made it to the top. We're like 20 billion feet up. And now we gotta make it over there to this building. Oh my God, I'm getting snow on my face. Do peak to peak, they said. It'll be fun, they said. It's like I'm on episode of Survivor right now. And after all that work, y'all, hiking through the snow, bracing ourselves in the elements, we get in this thing and we can't see anything out of the window because it's snowing so hard. So that was a little frustrating, but we made the best of it and did a quick outfit shoot in the gondola. So for outfit number three, this hoodie is by Everlane. I've had it for like four or five months now. One of my favorite to wear. I have a white t-shirt on underneath that. And then this puff coat is by ASOS. It's a great material. That really lime fluorescent green was a dope way to have a pop of color without trying too hard. These pants are by Lululemon Men, but they're very, very thin. They're more so of a spring weight. So I made sure to wear my thermals underneath these. So I was very, very toasty. Had long, very thick socks on. So even though my my boots got a lot of snow on them. I was just fine and super toasty the entire time. Then that beanie is also from ASOS. It's called Mini Fisherman Beanie. So if you're looking for it, it'll be linked down below with everything else in this video. And this is outfit number three. It is 5 a.m. It's completely silent out here in these streets. We're hopping into a vehicle right now. I just want to say Vancouver, it's been a pleasure, a real pleasure. Gotta come back very soon. What's good, YouTube family? If you made it this far, I really appreciate you. I really hope you enjoyed watching this vlog as much as I enjoyed making it. It's been over two and a half years, so I'm a little rusty, but they'll get better over time. Special shout out to VW for sponsoring this video and that entire trip. If you want any more information about the 2020 Atlas Cross Sport, you got links down below in the description, as well as links to all the pieces in my different outfits as well. And yeah, that's all I got for you. Thank you so much for your time, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.